Gentlemen, today we delve into the evolution of men's fitness spaces from exclusively male sanctuaries to the gender-integrated arenas we see today. Let's explore how this transition has impacted us, the men of our contemporary society, in achieving our goals within these spaces. In the eras of ancient Greece and Rome, men's fitness spaces were bastions of masculine development. These venues were not just about physical training, they were about building character, fostering camaraderie, and encouraging competition in an environment free from the distractions of the opposite sex. These were spaces where men could be unapologetically male, pushing each other to excel in the spirit of brotherhood. However, as history progressed, the perception and significance of these male-centric spaces evolved. During the Middle Ages, societal and religious shifts led to a de-emphasis on physical fitness. A renaissance in physical culture emerged later, but it was the Industrial Revolution that marked a significant change, introducing organized sports and public fitness facilities into the urban fabric. Fast forward to the present, and we witnessed the profound effects of integrating women into these traditionally male spaces. While the stated purpose behind this change is predictably altruistic, it's imperative to scrutinize its impact on us. This integration has fundamentally altered the dynamics of these spaces, introducing challenges uniquely felt by men. One significant change is the diminished competitive spirit in men's fitness spaces. These environments, once defined by intense competition and mutual respect among men, have shifted with the integration of women. This shift often results in a focus on social interaction rather than competition, leading to distractions and a reduced emphasis on physical excellence. Consequently, the intense drive to surpass limits, a hallmark of male-only spaces, is often compromised, leading to a level of mediocrity where achieving physical excellence is no longer the primary goal. Moreover, this integration has ushered in societal pressures that significantly affect men. We're now navigating a terrain where we must balance traditional masculine ideals with the new dynamics of gender-integrated spaces. This balancing act can be mentally taxing, influencing our self-esteem and body image. The sanctity of male-only fitness spaces has been compromised. Accustomed to the freedom and comfort of these environments, we now find ourselves adjusting our behavior and interactions to accommodate the presence of women. This adjustment often leads to a heightened sense of self-consciousness, detracting from the comfort, camaraderie, and focus on excellence that these spaces once offered. The integration of women into men's fitness spaces has significantly impacted men's experience. The competitive spirit has waned, societal pressures have escalated, and the comfort of male-only spaces has been disrupted. As we move forward, it's crucial to acknowledge these challenges and consider the importance of preserving spaces that cater specifically to men's needs. Such an approach will ensure that we, as men, can pursue our physical and personal development without compromise.
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this.